Zelda. We rely on your knight, and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. And not the meme Link, this is Ethan's Link. Link. Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. Two opposing tribes right next to each other, all it takes is one tiny thing and war breaks out. Some builds don't need an explanation, the name covers it. This is the Beetle Yeeta 3000. Even with their increased spawn rates in TOTK, what are the odds? Janeway for president has done the research. 13 marbled rock roasts is the silliest number to attach to a stabilizer. I'm glad that settles that. Day one of placing random things around a big wheel and seeing what works. First test, fans, doesn't work. If you've got a suggestion for Labriction, leave it in the comments. After spending an hour or so on this fight, imagine the despair when this happened to life in the hash lane. Theta Gaming has shared their best way to complete the bell challenge. Glue the boulder to the stake and then you're going to recall launch it straight into the bell. That's 110 on the Mega Ding scale. Just taking a stroll has created a useless splashing device. Well, it's not useless if you're having fun. What's the matter? You're acting like you've never seen a magic steering stick before. Wondering how it's done? The steering stick is quantum linked to a fan above Sacred Cry's head. There's also a battery on the fan to hide the battery meter. It's an impressive illusion that would probably blow the mind of those who haven't seen quantum link builds before. Last episode I showed you Ultra Baboon's attack helicopter. The problem was, it was lacking a little on the weapons front. 
Vision 2 gives it the weapons it deserves. These things look like proper air-to-ground missiles. He's using fuse entanglement as a way to trigger the missiles, which is super smart. Time for the prestigious Build of the Day Award. This build from Wise Mulberry is actually insane. Watch this. To try and explain, the vehicle starts with construct heads blocking each of the cannon pairs. The cannons are unable to fire until the construct heads are removed. Turning the big wheel rips off the construct heads one by one. The result is a delay in fire across the three pairs of cannons. Genius. You can hear the sounds of the construct heads being ripped off. Last episode, we included Scalhound's Pod Racer, and a lot of us, me included, suggested adding frozen meat to the bottom. Well, he's done just that, and it is so much better. With the frozen meat, this might be one of the best Pod Racer builds we've ever seen on the channel. Our resident expert on the musical stakes is back to play us out. As with last time, tell me the name of the game and the track title in the comments and earn yourself 10 Dommy points. <laughs> Take it away. Thanks so much for watching guys, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.